Just wanted to do a quick video. This is my Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra 3D resin printer. I uh, just made a couple of upgrades with my X1C. I printed them on that printer for this printer. I made this nice little handle here. And uh, I got the strongest uh, adhesives I could find. Because I didn't really want to drill through this. But yeah, I really wanted a handle for this. I mean, it's it's really pretty sturdy. But uh, yeah, I, I prefer to handle. I also printed a cover for my bat. You know, if I'm going to have uh, the resin sitting in there for a little bit. Just wanted a little cover, you know, to kind of keep anything out of it. While I'm using it, uh, I'm not going to leave it there indefinitely. Uh, you know, so I just wanted to cover. Also printed a, a mount so I can uh, hang the, the plate so it can drip. Uh, I did one print with this and then decided I needed, you know, some accessories to try to make it easier. Uh, also, I plan to remove this so I can put a, a vent in there. I printed out this uh, uh, this uh, flange that will go right there on this side. And this is a fan off of a CPU, uh, you know, to blow it out this way. And what we have here is... Uh, a USB. I got one of those uh, adapters on Amazon that goes from uh, just regular three or four pin power to USB. This way, every time uh, the printer turns on, you know this fan can can come on because it's got a, a USB port on the side back here. I'm not sure you can see it. It's pretty dark back here. Let me see. Let's turn this on for a second. But yeah, you have, uh, see if you can see it, you have your Wi-Fi antenna, a USB, uh, you know, your power in and your switch. And, uh, you know, I'm, I have it connected wirelessly, so I'm not going to be using this thumb drive to, uh, to load my prints. So what this does is once you turn this on... Then, as you can hear it, the fan is running. And it's going to pull that freaking nasty ass smell while I'm printing out the window. I've got a hose, you know, I'm going to attach to it. You go ahead and turn that off before it does anything. You've got a hose, and then I built this to go into the window you know i don't want any lizards or bugs or rats or anything so i you know made a cover but yeah that way it'll vent the resin smell because it gets pretty strong in here i did it one time and it's like yeah i don't want to smell this you know, of course, you're supposed to wear a respirator, you know, when you're using resin. But, you know, that's just a few of the things I did. This is just a quick video, you know, what I did and uh, what you should probably do. Definitely want to vent these. Uh, the filament printers are FDM. They don't stink near as bad, especially with just PLA. Uh, but these, you know, they give off fumes. It's toxic. So you want to vent it real well and, uh, you know, take the appropriate precautions. But that's just a quick video. Uh, I haven't been using this printer very much. I just got it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the uh, accessories I built for it. Uh, and if you get one, you'll decide what accessories you need. Thank you and have a good day.